Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we're going to be re-reviewing, re-revisiting, whatever you want to call it, Halloween 4. Number one, shout out to Jed Robinson. I just watched his Halloween H2O video. Make sure you go subscribe to him. You know, he's grinding on his channel like I am. Like, I've legit probably made about seven videos yesterday and today I'm probably what making probably 10 or 20 videos today you feel me for a lot of reasons number one like my allergies has been killing me so i can't record any music i probably can tomorrow if my voice is starting to heal a little bit um but yeah just a lot of videos and just keep them busy especially june because i'm out of school in june so you know this channel is gonna be bumping with bangers so the halloween revisiting review i love this movie I'm out. In the end of, end of the revisiting review, I'm out. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, like Halloween 4, man. I love Halloween 4. Everything about Halloween 4, start to finish, point A to point B, A to Z. Love Halloween 4. I love Halloween 4. I love the tone, love the kills. Um, I forgot the guy who played Michael in this. I like the guy who plays Michael. Michael's brutal. He's vicious in this. He's not as vicious and brutal, but I do like this Michael and this adaptation of Michael. Um, this does feel like the most... This Halloween movie feels the most fallish, the most autumn Halloween movie, the most Halloween-ish movie. Um, and it has that tone of a suburban, urban type of town. Um... Which is awesome to me. I love that. We have not seen that in a Halloween movie in a hot minute. So Halloween 4, you know, picks up. I forgot how many months and years, but it picks picks up right after. Explain where Michael was after Halloween 2. He was in a coma. We get to see him go down this elevator and we get caught up on Michael, which I like that, you know. Now, one on the one only gripe. The only gripe that I have about this film is the mask, my dude. The mask is my only, only gripe. The mask is like my only gripe. The mask is my only gripe. I hate the mask in this. Like, I think it was Halloween 4 or 5. Um, They were sent a box of curtain masks. Okay, because I, I, I don't remember if it was Halloween 4 or 5, but they were sent a box of Captain Kirk masks to the studio, right? So they were sent a box. And, okay, so they were sent the box, and their masks were supposed to be used. But they didn't use those masks, they went with this shitty mask. May I ask why? <laughs> because, like... I kind, I kind of get, I kind of get why they made the mask like that because that's kind of what you see. You know, that's what you, that's the Holly masks you see like in Rite Aid and Party City. I understand, but it doesn't fit a Halloween movie. It just doesn't fit well. Sorry, y'all tried. Y'all should have went with them by, you know, with their masks that they sent you. I would have. Um, we are introduced to a new character in this, which I love. She's played by Daniel Harris. Um, you know, she, she's a great kid actor. She's a great, um, 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 actor now. You know, she, you know, she's a good, she, you know, she was a good kid actor. She's a little, you know, she's a good actor now. And I really do want her in a future Halloween movie in some shape or form. You know, if y'all want me to do a video on how I would bring Daniel Harris back to the franchise, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, you know, Daniel, you know, Dan, Danielle Harris, you know, deserves to be in the spotlight. Like, you know, Daniel Harris deserves to be in the spotlight, like Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, Daniel Harris needs to get more appreciation and more love for her character. And you know, she, you know, she's a great kid actor. She's a good actor now. And you, you, you know, you can't hate on her. You know, you just can't. Halloween 4 is one of my favorite Halloween movies. Like, my most watched Halloween movies are Halloween, Halloween 1, Halloween 4, Halloween Rob Zombie, for some reason, which is the part 1, and Halloween 2018. Them, out of them four, I'm, I watch the most, you know. 
Um, so Halloween 4, like I said, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. The score in this is all right. The kills are great. You know, the um, acting in this is great. You know, the final act. I love the final act in this. I love the opening. Everything about this film is perfect. And I find it kind of crazy how not a lot of people talk about Halloween 4. Like, not there's not a lot of talk about Halloween 4. And I wonder why that is. Like, I, like I really do wonder why that is. But... It is what it is, you know what I mean? So, yeah, Halloween 4. One of my favorites, and I hope it's one of your favorites. Let me know in the comments below your favorite Halloween movie, and I will catch everyone in the next video. I'm out.